It's my feel good breakfast show. That is our entertainment <laughs> news. Um, something else that's very entertaining is, of course, a brand new documentary. Now, if former President Nelson Mandela were alive today, what would you ask him? The crew and cast behind Dear Mandela have produced a thought-provoking, multi-award-winning documentary that gives us a peek into South Africa's townships and the issues residents face. But more importantly, the documentary urges you to think and ask critical questions about the new South Africa and where we are going as a country. They've demolished a lot of shakes and now they're threatening to demolish mine. Nobody is thrown out. Everything we've done is within the Constitution. No one may be evicted from their home without an order of court. This thing is unconstitutional. Well, here to tell us more about Dear Mandela, we've got the co-director and producer, Dara, Dara Kal, as well as Mazwi Nzimande, who's a cast member of Dear Mandela. Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Now, Dara, would you mind taking us back and even back to the whole research process of the documentary? Why did you decide to put it together? Why did you feel that this was such an important film specifically for people in townships to watch? Sure. Um, well, in 2007, when my partner and I started making the film, um, we first heard about some young leaders in the townships who were actually organizing to resist evictions from their shacks. Yeah. And we were just immediately struck by the vision and the leadership of these young people, some of whom, like Mazui, were as young as 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Um, and when we saw them coming together to resist eviction and actually taking the government to court, they went all the way up to the Constitutional Court. We thought that this was an amazing story that just had to be told. It wasn't being told by the mainstream media. And so we embarked on this journey. That's absolutely yeah. amazing. Now, Mazwi, I know that you are part of the casting crew. If you had had a chance to ask Mr. Mandela one question, what would you have asked him? I mean, if I had a chance to meet the great Nelson Mandela, I mean, one question that I will ask him, obviously, it will be like, after so many years of struggle in the apartheid days, how does it feel to see people still suffering yeah. after so many years, having to fight that fight and then winning it after that, but still we have a case now whereby we have to struggle twice. Our parents have struggled in the apartheid days. They have won that. Now they have to fight against this, the struggle of corruption, mm -hmm. service delivery. How does it feel to have to struggle twice, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you think that this film is such an important film for South Africans, but specifically for audiences from the townships to watch? I mean, for me, it's important because it's showing the exact condition, you know, that people are living in, the, 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 the life, you know. It's showing that the, the people that are living in shacks, they might be poor in life, but they are not poor in mind, you know. Yeah. We are young people who are living in shacks. We are not gangsters or, like, uh, people who don't know it. We have a vision. We want yeah. to have a good... Uh, life, you know, we are patriotic citizens. We are trying to do more in trying to assist the government because we are living in the communities, so we know the problem. So we are trying to bring, bring solutions, yeah. you know, as young people. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Dara, this process has come along for seven years, as you say. What are you hoping? people are going to take away from this because we see these things every single day. Oftentimes we have cast a blind eye, we've become so desensitized. What are you hoping this movie is going to stir in the hearts of South Africans? Well, the main message that we're getting back when we show the film in informal settlements is the message of unity yeah. and leadership. So unity within communities where you know communities are often divided um, but people are really seeing that they can come together and present, you know, a unified message to the government and say, let's work together. Um, and then also the, the message of leadership, you yeah. know, young people are really seeing that there's a, a vacuum of leadership right now. And so what, the reason why we're going around this whole month to show the film in informal settlements is to inspire young leaders to say, it doesn't matter what you do, just do something. Yeah, powerful stuff. Mazri, any last words to the youth of South Africa? I mean, the last words for the youth of South Africa, it will be education is very important, no matter where you are, nothing will stop you to be a successful person. Whether we are living in shacks, just stay away from bad things, stay away from drugs, try to do whatever you are. I mean, poverty cannot stop you from being a good person in life. You know?
Awesome. Truly inspiring. Dara, Masri, thank you so much for joining us thank on our you. Feel Good it's Breakfast awesome. show. And um, the world has recognized this film and, and uh, they're completely just, they love it. So hopefully it will be received very well across the country as well. Thank you, thank thank you, you. so much. Well, if you would like to catch a screening this weekend, Dear Mandela will be screened at the Greenpoint Hall in Kailicha and the Filippi Community Hall this weekend. And for more updates, you can follow Dear Mandela on Twitter. It really is a very thought-provoking and... Um, very, very good movie to go to go and see. Well, Katlejo, over to you.